everybody, it's Lady B, and you know I have something to say. I have something to say about the message that um, was preached at my church on today. I'm going to tell you something. Minister Chris Lee Thomas, she preached her face off today. Listen here. I would say she did a good job, but that's not what it was. She really let the Holy Spirit speak through her. It wasn't her. It was the Holy Spirit. She said something that keeps resonating with me. When we are talking about deliverance, a lot of times one of the things that has us bound is our traditions, our experiences, a lot of teachings that we received. And once we determine that those teachings weren't right, even if we determine one part of that teaching wasn't right, we have to be willing to let go of all the teaching and let the Lord rebuild the foundation. Sometimes we're trying to build on the wrong foundation. What we got to do is humble ourselves. I don't care whether you were the pastor, teacher, preacher, apostle, bishop. I don't care what it was. If being in that thing resulted in you um, losing your place in God or going back or whatever it is, then stop scratch it all. It's okay. And let the Lord build you on the right foundation. Let the Lord heal. Let the Lord deliver. But don't come into um, a, a church where God may plant you or come into the restoration thinking you already know. You know, I, I know when the Lord began to really teach me, there were a lot of things he had to unlearn me. Can I say unlearn? There were a lot of things he had to un learn me. And so in order for me to receive what God really had for me to know, I had to let go. I had to come as a baby, even though I've been in church all of my life, I had to let all of that go. I had to operate and say, I don't know. Holy Spirit, teach me. And that's what God is calling many of us to. He's pulling us out of things. He's pulling us out of religion and, and, and denominationalism and all of these things. Now understand, I am not against religion and I'm not against denominationalism. I am against anything that has us to the point that like the Pharisees, we have these burdens on us that are too heavy to carry. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 11, 28 to 30, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. You know what he was talking about? He was talking about the laws that the Pharisees had put on the people that was so heavy that even the Pharisees couldn't keep it. And Jesus was saying that what I'm going to give you, the law that I want you to follow, the instructions, the rules that I want you to keep, they're not going to be cumbersome like this. So I just want to challenge, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you. You've been praying and asking God for deliverance. You've been praying and asking God to show you and to lead you. You got to start from the beginning. You got to humble yourself. You know, what keeps coming to me is Naaman. Naaman had leprosy. And when Elijah, let me make sure it's the right Elijah, because I got the wrong one, don't I? When Elisha sent word in 2 Kings chapter 5, Elisha sent word. He said, go wash in Jordan. And Naaman's pride said, why can't I go to one of the rivers in Damascus? Surely it's better than the Jordan River of Israel. His pride, he went away angry. And you know what else? He went away leprous. It wasn't until he humbled himself. Glory to God. He humbled himself and he received the word of the man of God. And he went and dipped seven times in the Jordan that he was healed of his leprosy. So my challenge to you is you've been crying. You've been seeking God. I know there are people. I told somebody a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to be honest with you. They're supposed to be a part of our fellowship. Where they are, they're, they're dying on the vine. But they don't want to do it. Their pride, they, and this is not, I'm trying to get people to come to our church. This is between me and this person, and they concur that that is what the Holy Spirit is saying. But their pride won't let them do it because they don't want anybody telling them what to do. And that's why a lot of us, like Naaman, we're still walking around with this leprosy. But if you want to be healed, then we are. I had to do it. You're going to have to do it too. Humble yourself. Don't come in. Don't come in with all the answers. Don't come in with explanations. Let it all go. 
let it all go. If you were Catholic, if you were Jehovah's Witness and some of these other sects and cults and Mormonism and stuff, let it all go. Just assume that you have it all wrong and let the Holy Spirit of God give you true give you truth, give you doctrine, give you the word of God. Humble yourself, come all the way down, humble yourself, obey the man or woman of God and watch what God will do in your life. If you will humble yourself, he did it for me and he wants to do it for you. If you've been in a dry place and God has put you in a place where the word of God is being taught, humble yourself, come all the way down, assume you don't know and receive the teaching. Receive, receive, receive the truth in Jesus name. You be blessed. This is Lady B. Thank you, everybody who likes and subscribes and, and comments and shares. Let's not be like Naaman. Because let me tell you something else. This is why we're missing our blessings. Because they're not coming the way we want. They're not coming packaged the way we want. So let's humble ourselves. These spiritual blessings, material blessings. Our God, He's oh, he's got so much for us. But we got to humble ourselves down so that we'll be able to see it his way. So that we'll be able to hear it his way. So that we'll be doing it his way. Not man's way. Not our comfortable way. But God's way. Thank you so much. You be blessed in Jesus' name.